polyauteritis nodosa, also known as panarteritis nodosa, periauteritis nodosa, Kussmaul disease or kussmaul meyer disease, is a vasculitis of medium and small-sized arteries, which become swollen and damaged from attack by rogue immune cells. Infantile polyauteritis nodosa is restricted to infants. In polyauteritis nodosa, small aneurysms are strung like the beads of a rosary, therefore making rosary sign an important diagnostic feature of the vasculitis. With treatment, five-year survival is 80%. Without treatment, five-year survival is 13%. Death is often a consequence of renal failure, myocardial infarction, or stroke. Signs and symptoms. In this disease, symptoms result from ischemic damage to affected organs, often the skin, heart, kidneys, and nervous system. Generalized symptoms include fever, fatigue, weakness, loss of appetite, and weight loss. Muscle and joint aches are common. The skin may show rashes, swelling, ulcers, and lumps. Palpable purpura and levado reticularis can occur in some patients. Nerve involvement may cause sensory changes with numbness, pain, burning, and weakness. Central nervous system involvement may cause strokes or seizures. Kidney involvement can produce varying degrees of renal failure, such as hypertension, edema, oliguria and uremia. Involvement of the arteries of the heart may cause a heart attack, heart failure and inflammation of the sac around the heart. Causes, polyauteritis nodosa is a disease of unknown cause that affects arteries, the blood vessels that carry blood from the heart to organs and tissues. A minority of people diagnosed have an active hepatitis B infection, and men are also twice as likely to get the disease as women. Diagnosis No specific lab tests exist for diagnosing polyauteritis nodosa. Diagnosis is generally based on the physical examination and a few laboratory studies that help confirm the diagnosis. CBC, ESR, perinuclear pattern of antinitrophil cytoplasmic antibodies, not associated with classic polyauteritis nodosa, but is present in a form of the disease affecting smaller blood vessels, known as microscopic polyangitis or leukocytoclastic angitis, tissue biopsy, elevated C-reactive protein. A patient is said to have polyauteritis nodosa if he or she has three of the ten signs known as the 1990 American College of Rheumatology criteria. Weight loss greater than equal to 4.5 kg, levado reticularis, testicular pain or tenderness, muscle pain, weakness, or leg tenderness, nerve disease, diastolic blood pressure greater than 90 mHg, elevated kidney blood tests. Hepatitis B or hepatitis C virus tests positive, arteriograms showing the arteries that are dilated or constricted by the blood vessel inflammation, biopsy of tissue showing the arteritis, the sural nerve is a frequent location for the biopsy. In polyauteritis nodosa, small aneurysms are strung like the beads of a rosary, therefore making rosary sign an important diagnostic feature of the vasculitis. The 1990 ACR criteria were designed for classification purposes only. Nevertheless, their good discriminatory performances, indicated by the initial ACR analysis, suggested their potential usefulness for diagnostic purposes. Also, subsequent studies did not confirm their diagnostic utility, demonstrating a significant dependence of their discriminative abilities on the prevalence of the various vasculitides in the analyzed populations. Recently, an original study, combining the analysis of more than 100 items used to describe patients' characteristics in a large sample of vasculitides with a computer simulation technique designed to test the potential diagnostic utility of the various criteria, proposed a set of eight positively or negatively discriminating items to be used as a screening tool for diagnosis in patients suspected of systemic vasculitis. Treatment Treatment involves medications to suppress the immune system, including prednisone and cyclophosphamide. In some cases, methotrexate or leflunomide may be helpful. Some patients have also noticed a remission phase when a four-dose infusion of rituximab is used before the leflunomide treatment is begun. Therapy results in remissions or cures in 90% of cases. Untreated 
the disease is fatal in most cases. The most serious associated conditions generally involve the kidneys and gastrointestinal tract. A fatal course usually involves gastrointestinal hemorrhage, infection, myocardial infarction, and or renal failure. In case of remission, about 60% experience relapse within five years. In cases caused by hepatitis B virus, however, recurrence rate is only around 6%. Epidemiology The condition affects adults more frequently than children and males more frequently than females. Most cases occur between the ages of 30 and 49. It damages the tissue supplied by the affected arteries because they do not receive enough oxygen and nourishment without a proper blood supply. Polyarteritis nodosa is more common in people with hepatitis B infection. See also, list of cutaneous conditions, references. External links, minus 1,408,892,916 at Knotebook, polyarteritis nodosa on thirdage.com. HTTP, www.criterion.com 1929 Bigger Than Life The 1956 film, Bigger Than Life, is about a fictional case of polyautoritis nodosa.